them. They've been doing it, family involved. It, it goes a long ways. You'll gain that trust. And also with gaining that trust, hopefully you can walk out of there with a credit card processing statement and uh, help them save some money. So it's, it's just again, making that friend. Feedback. You know, we always like feedback from the agents. I know I get a lot of beef feedback from Dr. Schneider from what he hears out in the field. And that's huge. Keeps us informed and, and lets us know, you know, trends that are out there or things that are people that our customers are looking for. And uh, we know that up front, we can help board more accounts for you guys. I thought about that. So again, help us help you guys. Last thing, holidays are here. I mean, it's if you really seriously think about it, in the next two months, it's going to be the majority of credit card processing transactions that a lot of businesses see throughout the whole year. I mean, it's just a busy time of year. And uh, that in turn tells the business owner, now's a good time to save some money, you know, because they know that business is coming. And any, any little nickel or dime that they can pen, they can save every time someone swipes a credit card. That's a huge advantage to their bottom line. So, again, make a friend. Tell them about the equipment we have, updated technology you have. Educate yourself. Agents, educate yourself. Get a little, you know, Google it. Credit Card Processing 101. Get yourself familiar with it because they will ask you questions and uh, you won't know the answers. Not that that's a bad thing. That's what we're here for um, is to help, you know, you along that way. And uh, the customer has any questions or something that you're not sure of, get a hold of one of the analysts here that you're working with. And they'll be more than happy to help you guys answer any of those questions. But get a little education. I self in the long run. That's pretty much all I have for tonight, guys. Thanks again for having me. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Pat, thanks. But, you know, you don't have to do this uh, on a regular basis for us. We do appreciate you taking the time after uh, – working a long day at NAB to, uh, you know, spend a little bit of time with us and offer your insights. So, again, thanks for all that you do during the day, and thank you for doing uh, what you did tonight. My pleasure. The next individual I have is actually uh, um, a doctor that uh, is in the uh, equine industry and has built a very successful business, um, obviously part-time, in addition to his practice. And uh, uh, Scott, you out there? Dr. Scott? I am. How are you, Brad? Hey, great. So I know you're up in a while as well. And uh, if you could offer uh, to the people in the, in the field, you know, especially those that are professional and, and busy and, you know, don't have time for something else. And what have you done with Mastery Plus? How have you done it? And, and what's it uh, meant for you and your family? Well, first off, I'll have to tell you that the business platform is just very easy to use. My wife and I are very successful for the simple fact that we have a great network of agents as well as a great um, group of businessmen that we do a lot of business with. It, uh, as Patrick had said before, you know, it, it's a model that you can just plug into and let professionals such as Patrick run with it. I don't have to close too many deals. I have to present. I have to know what I'm talking about. And a lot of these people already like me because we've done business together. So it becomes a very specialty niche. Once I get them to an NAB analyst or who I use as Patrick, you know, I close 90% of my deals because I've got everything prepped and ready to go for him. Small business owners like myself love this kind of stuff for the simple fact that their bottom line is their life. It's their livelihood. It's, it's how they do their business, the money that they save. The neat thing about the program, Brett, is these small business owners know a lot more small business owners so they can pass this down the line which turns into a small little neat residual income which me and my wife have put together that makes a car payment that's made the house payment that does some extra therapy for my son with the down syndrome i mean it's just i'll tell you um a lot of people don't think that money can make big changes in their life but i'm here to tell you it's been you know it's been a little bit of a life-changing thing for us to have you know a residual income come on the back side of our bank account that we have just plugged in the right kind of people and we've helped their business grow and we've helped them hit with their bottom line. Um, I can't thank enough to be a part of this program and to have, you know, the professionals behind it, such as Patrick, that just, you know, they, they close the deal. I, I don't know what else I can say, but 
to the agents out there. You know, with a little bit of fortitude, you can make some significant gains because the people at NAB are there to help you win. And um, it's definitely been a winning proposition for my wife and I. Well, Dr. Scott, appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we know the success you've had and uh, the stories. And, you know, we do appreciate, uh, you know, your, your professionalism and the, uh, you know, the value you brought to the uh, equation the last uh, few years of the company. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time tonight, and good luck to everyone. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. Absolutely. Next individual I uh, want to bring on is uh, Jim Ryan, also out of Ohio, and uh, Jim built a successful team uh, of agents and continues to be, you know, uh, one of the key leaders in the field. Uh, Jimmy, out there tonight. I am Brett. Good evening. Great, Jim. Here you loud and clear. Um, you know, go ahead. I know that. Um, you know, there's been some recent developments and success that you've been experiencing. Um, you know, what would you like to share about uh, your experience with Matt Trey Plus? Sure, Brad. Well, first off, I want to I want to just touch on what Dr. Stroh had talked about, uh, getting the lead over to the NAB uh, analyst team. I, I think it's very important, um, and, and I had talked to a uh, senior analyst yesterday uh, about this. I think sometimes, you, you know, out of the gate, everyone's wanting to get those leads in and, and you know, get, get accounts closed and help these merchants. But one thing, you know, one uh, caution I want to bring up, you have to make sure that merchant is, is looking to switch and willing to get a statement of analyst done over at North American Vanguard with someone like that. And, you know, I, I strongly suggest that, you know, you, you get hooked up with one of the NAB analysts over there and work with them because then you will be able to edify their name to the merchant. And I think that's very important. And, and you know, Brett, you know, I, I've been successful. I, I, I failed. And, and, and I'm not ashamed to say that. I think you know, sometimes you, you, you got to try it. You know, you look at different avenues and different things. But but one thing, rest assured, if, if you stay at it, you will make money. Those, you know, Mr. Fishman, you know, those payments come every month. You know, once you land those accounts, um, it's been very rewarding. Uh, I look for big things. Um, you know, plays always adding something great, phenomenal in my mind, to, you know, Jim Ryan's business every day. And that's the way I look at it. It's, it's my business. You know, I get to have my own uh, sales office right out of Warren, Ohio. And, it, and it's allowed me to, um, you know, meet a lot of great people, you know, both agents and merchants. And, you know, Brett, you know, I, I'm more hands-on. Uh, I try to help the merchants. Uh, you know, even for PCI compliance, I just had a merchant call me. You know, things like that. And I think if you're willing to go that extra mile and, and you know, Sean Chen in, in, in Texas, he does a phenomenal job working with those merchants, helping them set up equipment, uh, working them for referral, very important. Um, and, and last thing I want to talk about, Brett, is, you know, rest assured, you will never, ever have to worry about putting a merchant in a bad program. If we can't help them, we can't help them. And I'm sure, you know, Pat was on here. He, he'd tell you the same thing. You know, we we call it beat rate, rate plus a lot because that's what we do. You know, with the free equipment, the lower rates. You know, you look at everything that, that we've added just in the last, you know, few months here. It, it's just, you know, the Amex acquiring and, you know, now we're going to mobile, you know, mo mobile uh, wallet uh, through Apple. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And EMV is a big thing. So you got a lot of arrows in that quiver. Um, my recommendation is, is stay tuned to these trainings. Um, get in your back office. Brett, I know you put some phenomenal uh, trainings in that back office. You know, how to, how to talk to a merchant about the program. You know, all those things are, are, are great resources and learning tools for, for everyone. And, and I, you know, even learn from those things to this day. So. You know, great company, uh, great leadership, and uh, stay tuned, folks, because, you know, it, it, we're, we're growing, and, and there's always good things, you know, coming coming down the pike, 
uh, that we're staying in touch with the, the newest technology in electronic payments. So thank you, Brent, for having me. Um, I'll be seeing you soon. And uh, uh, good night, everyone. And uh, I'm sure Clay will be on here talking about some good stuff here soon. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate your leadership and, and the time you took tonight to, to share with us. Really do appreciate it. Thank the you. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is real briefly uh, go to the agent portal, which you've seen me just log into. And if you are a new agent, um, which many of you may be tonight, I'd really strongly encourage you that uh, on the agent portal, marketing and training resources, training videos, there are actually videos here. You can see a total of about 10 videos uh, listed out that are providing you with all the information that you need to really get to the basics. If you've not taken the time uh, to review those training videos and uh, sorted through the content, you'll want to definitely uh, do that uh, as, as quickly as possible. It'll probably take less than a half hour to do that. and will provide you a lot of insights. It'll be very helpful to uh, the overall process of developing your business. So take that time. And then also just know that, again, it'll actually cover one of the keys is agent portal overview. But do know that, you know, from your home page of your agent portal, you can track your business, your, your leads, your agent team, your commission. Um, it's all there. And that's something that you don't pay for as an agent that's completely available to you and it's managed for you. Um, so very, very uh, uh, powerful tools and nearly available to you as an agent. Uh, take full advantage of them for sure. So with that being said, um, I want to bring on the CEO of the uh, company, uh, someone I've known for now, well, I've pushed in 20 plus years. And uh, I'm on board, not just because I believe the electronic payment processing industry is uh, literally one of the most significantly different and unique and lucrative opportunities. And then the, uh, in, in terms of just independent uh, people like myself that want to create a sizable short and long-term income residual. But I'm also on board because I believe in Clay. I believe in his integrity and what he brings to the table as a uh, business analyst, he was very successful. He's also got a background in law enforcement, and he simply just brings a, a level of, uh, of intensity and, and, and an innovative approach to this market that, uh, quite frankly, uh, desperately needed it. So over the last few years, he's developed Metric Plus, and uh, we're very excited about him being on tonight. Uh, Clay, you out there? I'm here, Brad. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Go ahead. Excellent. Thanks for having me online tonight. And I want to first say thank you to the guest speakers joining us this evening. I appreciate you taking time at your schedule uh, to share some great information with all the agents who joined us this evening on a webinar. I know if you're listening in tonight or you're on your computer kind of following through the screen, if you're a new agent, um, you can't see from our point of view, but there's just lots of people all across the country logged on here. And one of the objectives we like to do on these webinars we host live every two weeks is to help facilitate information for agents that have been with us for maybe a month or two, but very importantly, also the brand new agent. And Brett, you know, you did an outstanding job tonight uh, hosting the webinar. And I think the guest speakers did a, a great job tonight sharing some of their experiences and some of their advice. And we hope everybody tonight finds that of value. Um, what I want to touch on, Brett, if I can just kind of turn topics a little bit on this webinar this evening. I got a lot to cover. Uh, for those of you that have been with us for a while as an agent, these are things that, uh, again, will just reaffirm to you that if you were looking for an industry to go out and build an income in, and you were looking to build something potentially part-time, or you're looking to maybe uh, build something into a more full-time income, there's you know several options, I think, available to people. If you're going to start a franchise, you're going to start a new business, uh, you may want to do direct sales. You, you may want to uh, do whatever. But I would I would say one of the things we found with Match Rate Plus, and I know what attracted me, yourself, and all of our guest speakers to the industry of merchant accounts, is it's a very, very attractive offer. When you think of the fact that you can go out and help businesses save money, but now you can get paid an ongoing residual when businesses process credit card payments. And I want you to evaluate that from a, what I call solid income standpoint, meaning do you believe in the next three to five years, people are going to stop paying with their credit card at businesses? In fact, I bet they're going to not only uh, continue to pay with credit cards, I think it's going to increase as cash kind of goes away or diminishes uh, in transactional volume and electronic payments increases in transactional volume. And what's even more exciting, Brett, is the evolution of this industry is technology can drive it. 
And what you've seen, if you've been reading the paper, watching the news, you've seen mobile payments or what's called mobile wallet payments, and particularly iPhone, right? Apple came out with their new iPhone and built into there is a app wallet that allows people to load up their card information into the app and then go to a store that has the capability of taking what's called near field communication payments or NFC and pay with their phone. Right. How many of us, if you just close your eyes, how many of us believe that will become more and more popular as time goes on? Look out three, five, ten years. What's exciting about it is every time a new technology comes out, a new opportunity comes out. So you have all these businesses out there. They're going to say, I want to take an iPhone payment. Well, the good news is, Brett, right on this homepage, you see that EMB terminal image you have there? I don't know if you can uh, go to the metric plus homepage, Brett, for me. And uh, you see the EMV term? Got it. EMV, right. right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What that terminal is actually is uh, what's the, called the Verifone VX520. It's a very popular uh, device manufactured by Verifone. It's really just, a, I call it a phenomenal machine if you're a business that processes credit cards. You have a lot of benefits with that machine. It accepts EMV payments, which means they're now ready to go. It's PCI, uh, it's EMV. It's, it's everything you need. But more importantly, that device um, now, when those start shipping out on the global platform right now, it's equipped to accept NFC payments, Brett. And that means uh, you can go out and offer businesses the following uh, opportunity. Can you take that new iPhone payment on your terminal? No, you cannot. If they say no, I can provide you a brand new piece of equipment for free that can. Would you like to see it? And the good news is you can provide that equipment for free, and now they are equipped to take those payments. I point that out, Brett, and uh, our guest speakers know is these types of evolutions in payment are going to continue to take place over the next three, five, 10, 15 years. And every time something like this happens, it creates new market opportunity for you. I mean, you look at just EMV, that's a market opportunity. Now you look at near field communication, that's a topic buzzword, that's a market opportunity. You look at mobile payment, like we have on there with the tablet, that's an opportunity. Um, it's just, it's, it's a never ending opportunity, uh, in this industry, but more importantly, what makes, I believe our company, our agents so well positioned to capitalize is what does it say, Brent, above those images in the gray box? Free equipment, for, yeah. free equipment, for free, free. A lot of customers have paid for the, their equipment. A lot of customers have leased equipment. You have the opportunity to go out and offer cutting edge equipment to people who process credit card payments for free. And better yet, provide them the best rates available in the industry. And the team at NAB is going to walk the customer through that. And more importantly, something they're not used to hearing, that's getting cash back on top of it. So make sure if you do a couple of things tonight after this webinar is, uh, you know, I call it like the four step process or what Brett, I believe you call actually the five steps of success. You know, number one, Learn the products and the program basics. Make sure you review this website. Make sure you review those videos. Make sure you log into the agent portal and watch those recorded uh, videos and uh, learn the basics. You don't have to be an expert, but you got to learn the basics. And then you want to make sure that, you know, I would say number two, prepare your business. And what I mean by prepare is number one, have you gone to the agent portal, logged in, go to the page, a video explains this in, in the back, and requested to have an assigned account analyst directly to you, like a Patrick you heard tonight. That is absolutely important. Our top agents all work with specific NAB account analysts, and uh, they do it because it becomes a coordinated effort. You're going to find as you go out and you talk to businesses or you start referring leads, you're going to want to uh, have a very coordinated effort, whether it's getting a statement, uh, following up, make sure they get connected to the NAB account analyst, becomes a coordinated event. And if you want to increase your conversions, coordinate with the NAB account analyst. And it basically, it's like you have a person working for you that you didn't have to hire, you didn't have to train, you didn't have to uh, pay to have them sitting uh, in an office space. No, that's all taken care of for you. And you have access to people that have five, six, seven years sales experience in the industry now selling for you. And that's a revolutionary concept in the industry that we've created here for you as an agent. And I would encourage you to make sure you utilize that incredible tool. I know I wish I would have had 
an NAB account analyst uh, helping me when I first start, got started in the industry. So when I was sitting there and, you know, deer in the headlights trying to fill out an application, wondering what all these 97 boxes were and, and how to, you know, pick the equipment and preload it and do a statement analysis, uh, pretty much game over uh, if you had no experience. But that's all been taken away uh, in terms of a barrier for you because you can refer businesses interested in the program directly to the NAB account analyst. And again, it should be one that you personally know and have been assigned to. So make that request if you haven't done so, uh, and that will help you out tremendously. Uh, with that being said, who do you know that processes credit cards? You know, um, look around your, your community, think of all of the businesses, and then make your plan, prepare uh, how to go out and start branding yourself in the market. Our most successful agents in the company pretty much all have the same story. Um, you know, I had the privilege. We had one uh, agent last month, um, you know, works the business part time, earned, earned well in excess of uh, $8,500 for the month and just part time. Uh, we have another individual. You know, I'm just talking about part time people, by the way, not full time. Uh, another part time person uh, earned in excess of $3,000. Uh, another one over, you know, $2,500. Uh, and some of these people haven't even been doing this for, you know, four or six months. And uh, you're, you're watching those checks continually increase. But what they all had in common was not only are they great at time management, but they, they made it a point to go out and start meeting business owners, introducing themselves and, and start, you know, learning two things. One, the market's very competitive, but how to overcome objections, how to get merchants to, to open up to the concept. And once they figured out how to do that, and once they got good at doing that, they started boarding accounts. And once they started boarding accounts, they started getting referrals. And once they started getting referrals, they started boarding more accounts. And once they started boarding more accounts, they started getting more referrals. It literally happened like that. In fact, um, I know the one individual last month, all, um, all close to 20 accounts uh, that he brought in for the month were almost all referrals. And I, I think that speaks to two things. Number one, uh, people must love the product to refer that many people. But number two, it was worth his time to invest in building his portfolio of customers. You have to want to go out and get it. This industry pays residual income every single month. And because of the fact, it attracts people to the industry who want to sell it. So you're not going to be the only person in America selling credit card services. You're not the only person wanting to go out and build a five, six, eight, ten thousand dollar a month income. It's competitive. So you're going to be in a competitive market, but you've got so many advantages. Uh, going in that you're going to want to take advantage of, uh, as we've seen, free equipment, cash back. You get to refer the customer to a trained account analyst that if you see Brett also on the homepage, scroll down, ETA certified payment professionals. You know, these are uh, high level, very skilled people at North American Bank Card that's working the accounts for you. Again, take advantage of that fact. And then Learn how to develop your own market. Set your goal. If you're brand new, and I, and I know, Brent, you talk about five and stuff. Set your goal to get 50 accounts. Set your goal to get 50 accounts. If you can get 50 accounts, you'll get 100. If you can get 100 accounts, you'll get 200 accounts. If you can get 200 accounts, you'll get 500 accounts. You know, uh, I know one of our guest speakers on a call last week, Sean, who's uh, traveling from Florida back to Texas. Um, one of the things, if you've listened to Sean that he's done is he went right out of the gates. He kind of put himself uh, a dot on a map, if you will. And then he went out two miles within his house, five miles of his house, 10 miles, 15, and expanded his business uh, in that type of order. And, uh, you know, here's somebody that once he got 50, yeah, he's already got 100. Once he got 100, yeah, he's got 200. And, and now he's going to be on pace to add 200 plus new accounts this year, and then another, you know, per, you know, perhaps three or 400 accounts the following year. Next thing you know, Sean has a thousand customers that he's going to be getting paid residuals on each and every month, every single month, a thousand businesses processing credit card payments. He's getting a check every single month. That's why people get aggressive in this space. That's why people go out and build a portfolio and book a business. And that's what the exciting payoff is uh, for those that do. And the good news is that's before you ever build an agent team. And we've made it easier than ever for you to build an agent team. How do you do that? Refer them to the website, have them click on our agent program, and re enroll as an agent. It's that simple. Once they do that, we'll provide the training. We'll do all that for you. Um, but I would encourage you to be hands-on 
with your new agent. I would encourage you to lead by example. I would encourage you to be able to teach them how to go out and get accounts uh, the way you did. Because I have, again, found our most successful agents uh, not only great at getting accounts, they're very good at bringing on other successful agents. If you've not brought on more than five customers and you've brought on eight agents and you're wondering why those agents haven't brought on five customers, it starts with you. Um, I, I want to be very direct about that. Uh, one of the things here, Brett, as you know, at Match Rate Plus, our guest speakers will tell you, we don't want you to waste your time. We do not want you to waste your time. We do not want you to, um, you know, fail at the business. So one of the things that we want to encourage you to do is listen to the people that are successful. Make sure you've done everything you can to prepare before you start. But once you start, continue. You know, continue. When you come across uh, an objection, when you come across a challenge, figure out the way to overcome it and then go to the next step. There's no secret sauce, uh, but you do have what we call some competitive advantages, Brett, as we talk about um, the ability to offer businesses cash back. In fact, Brett, I'll just close out here. Uh, you know, so much to cover. Uh, you know, I could talk about the iPhone payment opportunity uh, and giving away a terminal to accept that is, is just huge. Um, you know, EVT, we didn't even talk about that. Uh, the fact that we have a, that same machine is all in one. You can process EVT payments, which is electronic benefits transfer or what's commonly known as uh, SNAP or uh, food stamps, where businesses that accept those payments um, they might not know that they could accept it all through one terminal, have a better rate and get their, typically their funds faster, which, you know, how, how hard was that to sell? But more importantly tonight, Brett, um, I, I would just want all new agents to understand that you're in a great industry. You're partnered with an innovative company with an innovative offer. You're, you're backed by one of the largest service providers in the country, North American Bank Card. You're going to have the ability to have some of the most highly skilled salespeople in the industry selling with you and for you. And you're going to have an opportunity, we need to talk about the compensation plan, to earn what agents make doing all the work you got a chance to make in this program with a cashback program and referring and partnering with an NAB account analyst. That's never been done before on what we call an agent referral model. And, you know, at $200 an account, 30% ongoing residuals for the life of the account. That's an exciting compensation plan. You can build an agent team and earn a 20% bonus on what they earn uh, out of performance. So you've got a great opportunity and you got to set a reasonable time frame for your plan. You know, in this industry, money uh, does not get started fast, but it picks up fast once it gets started. Again, the money doesn't start fast. It picks up fast once it gets started. And that's hard for uh, you know, some people I think to digest when they first look at this, but it's uh, not hard for you to understand once it starts happening. So set your pace uh, at the pace you can set for yourself based on your schedule, maybe based on your, uh, you know, initial business contacts or uh, connections in your market. But make sure you go out there and really get your business started uh, in your area. You know, don't. Uh, I'll say, uh, Brett, you're, you're going to laugh. I know uh, about this. Get face to face. Get out there with businesses and let them know this. You want to differentiate yourself in credit card processing sales? If you want to be the best agent in your market, let me give you uh, what, what I'll call the closest thing I could give you to the magic formula. Be the best agent by letting customers know you will be there for their account whenever they need you. So many businesses will tell you they're not going to switch because they're happy with the person that signed them up. That's going to be the hardest business to switch, no matter what you offer them. You want to be that agent on your accounts because that will ensure that you keep those accounts. And you're going to find merchants that are going to tell you, well, I switched before and I haven't seen that person in five years. Well, let them know. That's not how you build your business. One of the things you pride yourself on is customer support. You pride yourself on being there for your customers. So treat this. Take ownership of your customer base and uh, pride yourself in customer support. And uh, with that said, Brett, you know, I could continue on. I will just make one uh, small special announcement on the, uh, the next webinar. We'll talk about it. But uh, at the end of the month, I'll be sending out. You're going to have a chance to earn a $1,000 holiday bonus. 
uh, and actually an, an additional bonus up to twenty five hundred dollars in, in a holiday bonus between November and uh, December thirty first. Between November first and December thirty first, uh, I'll be announcing that uh, at the end of the month. And uh, I want to congratulate uh, all the agents um, that are doing phenomenally well um, this month. Uh, Josh Lavoy, I, I know he's not even on the webinar. Uh, another amazing month, uh, part time. Uh, to see those numbers. Sean, you know, th th I, he just never amazes me uh, with his part-time numbers. Um, he could be out of the country and he still boards 20 accounts, uh, literally out of the country for two weeks and still board uh, close to 20 accounts. It's pretty amazing. So, Brent, is there anything else uh, you'd like me to touch on tonight? Uh, this is, you know, I've got on for, for close to uh, 12 and a half minutes, but there's so much to cover. Is there anything else you'd like me to cover tonight or anything else the guest speakers would like me to touch on or cover tonight? You know, Clay, I think we, we you know, we covered the, the, the gamut. Uh, there's something, you know, new uh, every time we do this, but uh, we do appreciate the time you've taken. And, uh, you know, clearly uh, we're excited, and that shows based on the uh, the volume growth and the customer growth. Absolutely, Brent. You know, I, we're looking for leadership in this company. Uh, we found some incredible leaders, and uh, we've, we've grown to the point where um, our offer is just so good. Our, our program is so solid. Our compensation plan is absolutely fantastic. We're just looking for leadership. We're looking for people that really want to take hold of the, the cashback program in their local area or market and really get it started. And if that's you, we're going to do everything we can to support you. So, Brent, you know, we're, we're, our company's at a place where we're looking for leadership. Perfect. Well, thanks, Clay, for taking the time uh, this evening and uh, sharing. And uh, we do appreciate uh, your leadership and uh, your continual support. Uh, to the agents in the field, including myself. Appreciate it. Thank you. So with that, Thank uh, you again, to uh, everybody tonight. Yeah, I mean, I want to, again, you know, definitely you know, say, say a shout out and thanks to Pat and to Jim and to Scott for uh, sharing. And in addition to Clay, we do appreciate the time that you took. And, uh, you know, best success to everyone. With that, we'll close it out uh, for this evening's uh, webinar. Thanks for all that uh, came on board. And it's amazed me that, Everyone that started with us is still with us. And that says a lot about what we have and uh, the momentum and the excitement about the offer and the program. So we'll look forward to uh, being with you in the future. Uh, schedule uh, um, your uh, calendar around the webinars that are going to be communicated to you via email. And we'll look forward to having you on the next one. With that, bye for now. Have a great evening and a great week. Bye for now.